Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're on the farm in Laos. We're gonna spend the day, we're gonna try and catch our own lunch, do some fishing, and we're gonna give you a tour of the farm. Stay tuned and see you in the video. All right, so we've had some requests to do a tour of the farm in Laos. So we're gonna do a walkthrough today, starting from the front of the property. You can see we've got our spirit house on the back there. So this is pretty common in any Lao residence or office area to pay respect to the spirits on the property. In the back there is the chicken coop where we keep our birds. And we've got our water supplies. We had a well dug with a water pump. So that's about a 2000 liter tank that supplies water to the property. And we've got our carport. So this is a three stall carport that we had built at the beginning of last year. Now we're walking up to one of the bedrooms. So this bedroom was built back in 2019, I believe, for the property we bought in 2015. So this is where Fawn's sister and brother-in-law reside. And we've got the Turkey Mafia making the rounds as they do every morning. And here we're making our way to the bird coop. So we keep all sorts of birds on the property from chickens to turkey to geese and duck. And during the day we let them roam freely around the property and then at night they stay in their own individual areas. From there we turn around and we're walking up to the shower and toilet area for the first bedroom. And you can see we've got a western style toilet with the hand spray. And then adjacent to that, we've got our laundry room. So we've got a washing machine where we do all of our laundry. No dryer like you would have in the West. We just hang the clothes out to dry. And from the shower and toilet area, then we make our way to the back of the property. On the back side, we've got a few storage rooms and we've got the pond, which we keep stocked with fish. I think eventually we're gonna refit these rooms for accommodations in case we have friends or family come visit. But for now, we use them for storage. But why wouldn't we wanna set up some accommodations on this side? You can see what a great view on the fish pond with a view of the salon, the floating pontoon there. Some nice healthy fish swimming around. We keep this pretty well stocked with all kinds, tilapia, catfish, suai, everything you can think of. So we'll be doing some fishing. But getting back to the tour of the farm, you can see we put a lot of work into this since we first bought the land back in 2015. I'll show some pictures in the next video as I do a cost breakdown. I think there's too much to show just in this video, but I'll show some history on what everything looked like before. And it's pretty dramatic to see how much things have changed since we first purchased the land. There on the right is the main kitchen that we put in back in 2019 and there on the left is the new bungalow that we built at the beginning of last year. And so walking up to the kitchen you can see we've when we outfitted this we outfitted it as a full working kitchen. Originally actually this was built with consideration of being maybe a living area but we repurposed it to be a full kitchen with cooking uh, and food storage capabilities. 
so the more recent additions to the land as of the end of 2022 were the construction of the carport, uh, the construction of this area here, which is a uh, guest shower and guest toilet facilities. And then last year we put in the bungalow where we live today. So you can see this is the full working shower with exhaust and a sink. And I'll add that in every case, each of these constructions were really the, the design of Fawn, my wife. She put the design together for each of these and then worked basically as the project manager to, to work with the builders to put all this together. So next to the shower, we've got a full Western style toilet with exhaust. And you can see all the material selections, the tile, floor and wall tile were all picked out by Fawn, my wife. And then adjacent to the Western style toilet, we've also got a, an Asian style squatter toilet. So we've got plenty, plenty of facilities for guests needs. All right, so making our way out of the shower and toilet facilities. We're now walking by the bungalow. We'll take a peek in there a little bit later. But we're walking up to the sala. So this is a nice spot. This actually, when we came, moved from the US in the beginning of 2023, this was our living space. So the, if you can imagine, this was an enclosed area which uh, is where we lived while we were building the uh, the bungalow next door. Now it's nice, uh, opened up with a nice view of the water and fish. Speaking of, we did get some fishing done, did some old school net fishing and caught a number of different things. Caught some catfish, some tilapia, and a snake head or two. And I'll qualify that the fishing was actually done mostly by our neighbor pond, so he saved the day. So getting back to the salon, this is a nice place to spend the afternoons. There's always a nice breeze going over the water. And you can see we're walking by our banana trees. So got some fresh bananas coming off. This is such a great place in that we put in so many fruit trees, so everything from bananas to mango. We walked in right underneath a mango tree there to coconut trees. There's also pineapple every here and there. So there's, there's a little bit of everything on the farm. And we've got a little baby goat. He was just born not too long ago, so he's meandering around the farm and he helps us keep the grass down. He's our weed eater for the farm. The trick is to make sure that he just eats the weeds and not the fruit. So now we've got our freshly caught fish and we're letting them set, preparing everything else to get ready for the grill. All right, so as we turn around, we get a view of the front of the property, and now you can see the bungalow we had built last year. This is a one bedroom, one bath bungalow that Fawn had built, and you can see there's a bridge that she also had constructed over the water feature. So one bedroom, one bath, uh, with uh, a porch that wraps around that living space, and it's interesting in that it brings the outdoor living uh, blends that with the indoor living so you see as we walk through the the place uh, the bedroom and bath together is about 45 square meters so that's about 480 square feet and then the wraparound porch is another 115 square meters which is about 1240 square feet so altogether we've got about 1700 square feet of space 
in this bungalow. So this is the porch, the wraparound porch that extends all the way around our bedroom and bath living area. So we have curtains that act kind of like a mosquito net. So they keep the bugs out and they keep, they do a pretty good, pretty nice job. Ceilings we intentionally had constructed pretty high. So this porch area has, let's see, 3.2 meter ceilings or about 10 and a half feet. The bedroom and the bath ceilings are three and a half meters or about 11 and a half feet. So nice tall ceilings. They make everything look so much roomier and plus with the weather in Southeast Asia, they actually help keep the uh, the place, the interior so much cooler uh, with the hot air rising. So it actually helps out quite a bit. And we can see our Western style toilets adjacent to our shower. We've got the rainfall shower in this bathroom. So Fawn did a really nice job working with the builders to put all this together. So this is the bathroom and then we will walk back out into the bedroom and walk out towards the kitchenette area up to the porch. So walking out onto the porch you can see to the right we've got the full kitchenette with nice countertops, sink, two burner stove, and so this is just a really nice place to prepare meals if you don't want to make full use of the the main kitchen on the property where we've got our dining room table and then this really just walks out to the front of the property and onto the bridge over the water feature and guys this is such a nice place to sit out with your cup of coffee in the morning very relaxing so now we're making our way back out to the area where we have set up for the grill in. So phone is getting the fire ready. We got the fish on the fire doing some grilling and getting ready for dinner. So this is it guys. This is how we do it on the farm. It's rustic, it's simple, but it's a great life. We enjoy it. There are some things that are part of this that I've taken a little bit of getting used to as we continue to update the facilities. So for now, uh, we've got running water from the, the well, but we have no hot water. So getting used to taking cold showers, which can be nice and refreshing on a hot day. And because of the power capabilities that we've got coming in, or lack thereof, we don't have air conditioning. So fans are my best friends at the moment. But that's part of life in Southeast Asia. If you don't like the heat, then you shouldn't move to Southeast Asia. So it's a small sacrifice for our little slice of heaven out here on the farm in Laos. All right, so with this, we've made pretty much a full circle around the property. This is one of two parcels of land that we have, so total about one hectare or two and a half acres between what we live on and manage. So in the distance you can see the car park where we started along with the original bedroom and the main kitchen on top of the hill there. And with that we will start now to prepare for dinner. So for dinner, we've got a little appetizer of fresh water river crabs or mud crabs. How do you eat mud crabs? Well, you put them on a stick and put them over a fire. Freshwater crab? Oh. These are all in the spices. Something like that. Yeah. All right, so now we're back out to the fire pit where the fish have been 
grill in and looks like they're just about done so we are going to take the fish off the fire you can see they're looking pretty tasty and get ready for dinner so we've got our damak dua the green bean salad and our damak dang which is a spicy cucumber salad and we've got our fish hot off the grill and we've got our sticky rice so we are ready for dinner all right so as we finish up here i want to thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and in our next video we will go through a full cost breakdown of our construction costs all right thanks and see you in the next video